This may sound crazy, but I figured on these recordings, I can actually keep them because I'm going to go through them before I release them to people. And the people that have government ears out don't have the special technology to hear every single recording that I have on this phone. They actually don't have that already unless they were watching me and making sure, and they're not. And I can tell because I can sense radar, and I can tell if I'm being watched by people, by machines, by animals, by bugs, by trees. I can sense if I'm being watched. It's pretty cool. That's one of my secret abilities. Well, that's not that's one of my special secret abilities. One of my special secret abilities I invented. And, it, and actually, what's really crazy about it is I can tell you, and I know this is actually for sure because I've actually checked on it in the astral. In the astral world, I can leave myself keys, and I can teach other people how to leave themselves keys to find themselves throughout time. Like, say, uh, every time a certain kind of thing happens that frustrates you, you go, everything happens for a reason. It's like a time marker. So later on, you can meditate, or if you get into the best, a good enough state, you don't even have to meditate to do it. However you do it, you basically picture yourself there. You, you, you go to the astral, you find that sound frequency that says, uh, this happens, or, you know, uh, uh, what is it, uh, so everything happens for a reason, you know, say that, just a saying I'm using, for example, and you search through your time zone, or through that time-space continuum in your vibrational meditation sense, and you can ride backwards and forwards and find when you say that in the past or in the future, riding the wave out, understanding probabilities, using your intuition on what sounds right, what seems right. And when you, when you say sounds right and seems right, that's just in the physical sense, it, it makes sense because you're looking at it. In the astral, in the, the sound dimension, you can see sound waves and you taste and eat sound. So like as you're heading towards it, you just know to go more that way. You don't see it, you just go that way. It's sensitivity, it, pen, it pulls you that way. So like I know whether I'm right or wrong for that reason. It like pulls me that way, and I can. If it's not right, it does. I don't get a ping, and I'm pinging 24/7. And as soon as I start like thinking of being Dan or not talking about uh, anything else, or I I try to be normal so I can finish my day, the pinging goes away. And as soon as I go back into the parking lot, it starts pinging again. Like, do you want to hear more, or do you want to go back to work? It's up to you because we're paying attention to you. And if you don't want to have us help you, then we can let you do your thing. So if I just go about my normal day all the time, I'm just going to lose connection unless I talk people about it so I sort of have to or at least continue thinking about it because in the back of my mind anything that I when I let my mind wander it's creating dimensions in the other realms that aren't physical so as I'm just walking around and talking if my mind wanders like I'm creating if I think if I thought of demons or something demons would pop up but I'm, I'm fine with demons because they're just a creation of our minds and I know better so I can say anything and make anything happen and not be scared of it because it's my creation. And it actually has a lesser vibration than me no matter what realm it's in because I created it in this realm, which is a powerful realm, and I'm much more powerful than the uh, creation in just the other realms, not this one. Like, if you're in the physical realm, you're more powerful than things in the other realms. So every person, every person, no matter how weak they are, is more powerful than an, a ghost or an entity or anything in the astral realm or the spirit realm. You are more powerful than it. it they, they can be very powerful. And if you're weak and, and you know, sad and miserable and, and nervous and timid and, and just pitiful and fatigued and whatever, you may seem like you're too weak. But that's in your mind. You are more powerful than you think. You are stronger than any astral being. Any, any being of a lesser frequency, which means if they're not in more solid matter, they're of lesser frequency than you. So if they're invisible and they can manifest, you know, uh, visually, and you are physical, you don't have to manifest physically. Your, your energy is already here. They had to use almost all their energy to manifest physically. Even even like physically, it doesn't always mean solid matter because nothing's solid matter. It could just mean a, 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 you know, something you see, a hologram. Just to do that, they use a lot of their energy. They feed off of yours, yes, but no matter how much of yours they use, you're still more powerful than them. And I know this for a fact. I've experienced every haunted house, every ghost, every story, every imaginal realm, every dream realm, every nightmare realm story of ghosts and goblins and witches and warlocks and, and voodoo crosses and hexes and curses. And I, I've been through all of them but I just choose not to focus on them you go wherever you focus so why would I want to know more about those because those would put me through those kind of experiences so I choose not to you can easily do that you have to set your brain to what you want to go and see I said that stuff about voodoo when it's in the back of my head being like uh, what are we creating in those realms and I'm like nothing because I didn't think of anything for it because I'm blocking those things like I'm blocked the things that I don't want to hear you can easily block it you get in control of your mind you block thoughts you don't want to think it's, it's crazy 
Like I can say something like someone's hurting my kids, and that sounds so crazy to say. But my kids are just characters, and I and I know that, so I don't take it too seriously. But at the same time, I love my kids in the physical world, no matter what. Every they are awesome. But so because of that, I don't take it so so seriously, and I can just block it. Like okay, sure, they're going to hurt my kids, or, or physical, or, or physical, virtual. Uh, uh, what am I saying? The word, the word I'm looking for. Vibrational beings here with me who chose to play this game too. And of course, I'm going to help them get through the game because they're part of my team. You know what I mean? They're part of my team. They're the A team. That was another spiritual math. I mean, it's, it's words that we've already used, but team is a word we use too. I made up an acronym for team before, whatever it is. And if I could find that paper that I wrote it on, that has something to do with my spiritual math. Like, I, I, I just have to go through my own life and find things I left for myself to remind myself. And those will be the things that help us find out what's after God. And God wants me to do that because he knows I'm not crazy. But I'm here in the physical world looking crazy because my physical virtual representation of my vibrational being is is going very it's like wink 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 making that noise and it attracts a lot of attention so even out on the astral people are going to start sensing me but i'm learning how to go into the future and put like a guard or a barrier or an aura around myself to pr protect myself at in all times no matter if it's happening in and right now, it can protect me from somebody that's putting a curse on me in the past, in dinosaur age, and someone who's putting a curse on me in 3,000 years in the future. Like, I have amulets placed throughout my map, my spiritual map, and once I get them, I'll become even stronger, but they're already there providing their effect. I know that sounds crazy, but things happen the way you believe in the way you you know, you you can visualize them in the way you believe them. And because I know that, my belief is strong, and I'm creating them on all levels right now. And I can go back and check in the astral realm, and those things that I plant in the astral realm are growing at a rate that I want them to. And I can set them back, but I'm letting them grow at, like, earth rate in the astral realm. I'm call, I'm creating, like, a... a, a, a what do you call it? Like, a, sim, a, sim, a simulation of earth in the astral realm without so much of the physical feeling so they can understand without having to hurt. See, like, who would think of this stuff? Someone who's creative like me. So I'm making the game better, which means I'm making life better. I'm saving people. I'm already doing it, but they just have to catch on with my frequency. And once they do, they won't even be mad. They won't even hurt people. They just can't because they know what they're doing. They're me. They're, they, they'll understand. They'll get what I'm saying. We're formulating back into the one, and that doesn't mean separate people, and it also doesn't mean you know, one big mass of people. It means that we work together all the time, and when we disagree, we say, okay, we disagree, no big deal, keep going. That's it. Nothing more than that. No matter what country, no matter what color, no matter what, what genus, no matter what kind of animal, no matter you know, what kind of species, you cooperate with them. You talk to them before you eat them. You talk to them and you raise them kindly. You clean the earth. You clean yourself. You keep yourself and other people around you happy and healthy. That's it. Nothing more. All right, guys, later.